The proprietor of the Extreme Car Cleaning Complex is hoping to raise the bar while adding a new piece of technology in Guyana with the first of its kind drive through car wash. The investment is just around $60 million, and the business owner, who is a Guinean born Guyanese businessman, said this was some 15 years in the making. Uh, we've been looking at this for many years, um, probably more than 15 years. And uh, every time I went out and came back, I was talking to friends about getting this thing going. And more and more, a lot of bottom house car washes have sprung up, and I'm getting people complaining about how long it takes. and quality of wash and a uh, whole lot of things. So what we thought we'll do is bring in something that will give you your undercarriage wash, clean wash, body wash, you know, give you all the service in a very short time. A lot of people are getting very busy. You don't have four hours to go and sit uh, waiting for a car to be washed. So we want you to be able to get in and out of that wash in three minutes get a vacuum done and away, away you go. This is how the service works. This is an integral part of our operation here. A minute you're driving through, it takes 60 seconds to get all your undercarriage washed. So as you drive slowly to approach the wash bay itself, your undercarriage gets a good wash. The stop light comes on when your wheel is in the right location, you're told to stop. Then the wheel cleaner activates. So basically your wheels get a very good clean. There's some specific uh, target, targeted nozzles that come and spray uh, degreaser and uh, chemical on your wheels, which will be blasted off to make your wheels clean. After that, you get a pre-soak. Then you get what we call a triple foam. And then the extreme pressure comes on and gives your car a complete wash. The business will open its doors soon and will have just around 20 persons in its employ. The Extreme Car Cleaning Wash is located on South Road between YMCA and Girls Guides Association buildings. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.